So one thing we haven't talked about yet, and that's setting up a default response. Now, why would you want a default response? Well, unless you're Nostradamus or you're completely psychic, psychic, not psycho, um, you have no idea what they're going to type into your chat bot. So regardless of what they type in there, if they type in, I want free pizza, or how long is this COVID going to last for? This COVID-19 nonsense going to last for? I shouldn't say nonsense. I've had four friends that have passed away, so that's a whole other issue. So you want to have a default response. So let's understand what our default response says right now. Our default response, based on our previous videos, we have not set up a default. So let's set up a default response. And again, let's greet the viewer the right way. So I'm going to come down here to my text box again. I don't want you to, it's kind of like making sausages. I'm going to set up my default response and I'm going to come right back. Now, the default response for the first time user, and I'm going to share with you in subsequent videos, how to not keep greeting them with the same information again, if in fact they've been here before. So, how am I serving you today? Hope you're doing well. Would you like to read my privacy policy? Keep in mind that they didn't go through the normal messaging, welcome message, because they typed something into your chatbot that you didn't have an answer for, and therefore it triggered the default answer. So by default, I would set up the default answer almost identical minus, you know, how can I serve it you today type of thing or whatever other innuendo you want to put in there and basically go through the process. Now, if you want to have more specific things about, you know, FAQ, that might be a good idea too. I will share with you how to set up an FAQ in a subsequent video. But again, let's walk before we can run. So let's go back and check out the user experience from the front end of our Facebook page. So again, let's start over by deleting this conversation. Because we don't want to get confused with stuff we had in there before, especially if we're trying to learn this from scratch. It's going to, it's going to be very confusing. So let's go and basically trigger the default response. Okay, now keep in mind, you can set this up any way you choose. And I'm just giving you basic ideas here. So they go to test button. And again, we deleted the previous conversation so we could start from scratch. And then click get started. And they go through all this and they just have a question. In fact, they want to know how to, how can I get pizza? Now, you can answer that in your default message with, you know, we're not programmed to answer every question. This is totally up to you. But again, going back to our default message here, if you scroll up here, it will say, how can I service you today? and puts them right back into the loop of positive user experience. You want them to read your policy, privacy policy and you want them to subscribe or unsubscribe. Now, how does that answer their question about the pizza? Well, at this point that we could have different FAQ, you know, like what do you want to do? But again, I encourage you to, even though they're coming in for certain questions, you still want to be proactive to guide them towards a positive user experience through A, I know that they're asking about pizza and you're hitting them with, well, go check out my privacy policy and you want to subscribe or unsubscribe. Now, that maybe can set them off in a way, but again, you want to adhere to that basic model of positive user experience. So the next video, let me share with you why they came to begin with. Maybe they came to get an ebook. Maybe they came to watch a video. So let me share with you how to set that up the right way to engage them before we start re-engaging them with, with something called triggers, which is, I have a full setup video for how to do that. So in the next video, let's understand why they came here to begin with, because maybe they want to watch some of our step-by-step -step videos or more information. So talk to you in the next video. Thanks again for being here. My name is Robert Farrell.